Speaking of Steam, so there's a popular practice on Steam called review bombing that people like to take part of. And basically, whenever a developer or a publisher does something really stupid, somebody says something stupid online, they have a really bad policy, they introduce microtransactions or all kinds of other things that people don't like. People take to the Steam review service to leave a bunch of negative reviews on these games at once. This is called review bombing. And yeah, with, um, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, like, uh, for an example, with, um, with GTA 5 on PC, it got, like, super negative reviews because one thing that they did. Right, well, uh, oh, well, that was, like, when they shut down that, uh, one mod. Uh, yeah, the mod, yeah. I forgot what it was called. Um, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. That happened like a few months back or something like that. But yeah, but yeah you're that, talking about like that, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So that stuff happens all the time. And most recently, of course, it happened to Firewatch, which was a topic uh, previously from last week's episode. As you notice, there's a theme with a lot of things talking about last week's episode. It's because this stuff is kind of still resonating. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, that game got review bombed because of the developer's reaction to PewDiePie and how they reacted to it because people thought, you know, whether their opinion of PewDiePie was, they thought that was a really bad precedent to set. And people made that very clear that they did not like it. Well, Valve, they kind of get why people do that. They kind of get why people leave those negative reviews. They don't want to silence people. But at the same time, for consumers that don't have any kind of investment in these kind of politics i guess you could say maybe they just want to say hey is the game good or not you know they can yeah. take a look at these new charts that valve has now which actually show a timeography of the reviews as they come in like it gives the players an indication of when the reviews have hit and their overall impact as far as like positive or negative when people thought about it. I think this is a really good idea because if you don't care about certain little things, like if you're not really a gamer that's in the know, you'll want to know, you know, hey, is the game good? Is it worth playing? Does it run well? Those kinds of things. You're not really concerned about, is the developer saying something bad on Twitter? <laughs> you know, that's not, something yeah. that, that's not something that really comes into your mind there. And Valve kind of recognizes that, so they actually want to show people a chart that shows you when, you know, the, the whole time frame of the positive and negative reviews a game got. So that you can kind of see if, say, for example, if a game improved over time, or, you know, went sour over time, maybe patches and whatnot improved or unapproved, unapproved, unimproved the game. So I think that's a really good thing to do, but uh, you know I, I I get I get review bombing, but it's still really dumb. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, like uh, like I do think it is like like I kind of like you said like I kind of get like why they do that because you know like you got to speak out your opinion on certain shit. You know that's kind of the whole point, but. I know one thing with a lot of Steam reviews in general is that there's a lot of, um, you know, like, people will just put out, like, a mini review on, on their thing of, like, a game, and it's, like, totally, like, a parody kind of thing, and it's, like, yeah, you can't <laughs> take that seriously. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. I remember seeing a whole bunch of crazy reviews um, like that. I wish I could quote some on top of my head, but... They always have like some kind of silly little event that happens in the game, and then they'll be like, 10 out of 10, we'll play again, or we'll buy again, or something like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, like something like funny, yeah. Yeah, which those are fun, but it doesn't really, like I said, it doesn't really tell people a whole lot. But then again, you have to factor in that most people that are reviewing it probably just want to give their general opinion on the game. Yeah. You know? And so that's okay, you know? I think I think overall... With review bombing and things like that. If you guys want to talk about a developer screwing things up, talk about it. Let people know. Let them know on social media. 
let them know on your YouTube channel, you know, all that good stuff. But just leave the game reviews out of it, okay? You know, I mean, if a game sucks, let us know it sucks. If it's good, let us know it's good. You know, that's what game reviews are about. It's just, we want to know if the game is worth our money and time or not. Subscribe to the DP and me on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. Get cookie down now.